Hi guys, it's Darren from Utopian Games. Um, this time I'm going to be sort of going through how I did my stretchy platforms. You can see here at the bottom I've got a platform, I'll click on it and it will actually stretch and after a few seconds it will come back. Now you can also click on it on the way back and it will stretch back out again. Now I'm just going to show you how I actually uh, achieve this. Just go back. You can see that's all it is. It's just one block. Um, now I needed some ends on mine, otherwise the uh, the sprite when it's stretched will actually distort the arrows. It's okay if you're going to have just a top and a bottom to your platform, but if you've got anything with like uh, vertical sides, then when you actually stretch. The, uh, the size of your actor, it will distort the, uh, the graphics. So I decided I wanted some arrows on to, uh, to let the user know they can actually press on it. And I've just spawned in an actor to the left and an actor to the right. Otherwise, like I've said, if I use just one big sprite um, when it grew, then it would just absolutely look terrible. It would just distort the, uh, the artwork. So let's go into the actor itself. I've made a, a global um, a global variable which is called game middle x and I need this global variable because I want to snap the uh, the left hand part and the right hand actor to the uh, the middle of this and then basically just spawn in two actors the stretch left and stretch right actors one's minus 96 uh, which will be the left hand side one the other one is 96 which will appear on the right and then basically touch is pressed um, middle stretch is true if middle stretch is true uh, self size width to 480 now you can see just like my other tutorials I can actually set this one platform to uh, any width I want I can go bigger or smaller and all the other actors just falls into place and Constrain, self size width, after three seconds it's false, so after three seconds it will start coming back. And let's just have a quick look at the actors, the, uh, the stretch left and right, <clears throat> that spawn left and right. Um, now we've actually had to constrain the attributes on these, the self position x attribute to the, uh, the game middle x, which was the global variable, minus 48. Um, if you go minus 96, which is the width of a block, then it's just going to give you a, a gap. So you need the minus 48, and then the game middle stretch size divided by 2. Again, they're divided by 2 because obviously you only want to constrain it to half of the platform. And touch is pressed, middle stretch to true. That's just in case the user actually presses on this actor instead of the middle portion of the uh, of the platform, so all three actors will actually uh, trigger the uh, the stretch is true. So again, it looks quite nice. What you might have to do, there you go. Look, it's not quite stretching as far now because we changed the size. What you might have to do um, sometimes when you're constraining actors to a to a center actor like this one, you might have to. spawn the actor a little bit inwards because now and again you do get tearing um, so this the left actor here is constrained to this one but um, now and again you will get a little bit of tearing you probably see a black line in between the actors and if that happens just simply move the um, the actors over by one or two pixels normally helps so we can uh, spawn the left actor Instead of going minus 96, we'll go minus 95. Um, and that normally sort of sorts out the problem. You're going to be a pixel short, but um, it's not really going to matter. It looks better than any sort of tearing in between the, the main actor and the two, the two uh, actors that are actually constrained. But um, as you can see, it works pretty well. We'll just try and change that size right up now. I'll just change that back to 96 for now. Um, so like I've said, just one 
just changing one variable. Again, I want to try and make it as easy as possible for me. Whenever I code a game, whenever I start coding a game, I just don't want to be messing around. I'd rather do all the hard work, all the donkey work before I start making the levels, and then making levels just uh, obviously becomes a lot easier. So you can see now we've got it 480 to uh, to 5. Yeah, let's just try bumping it up to something like 900 or something. Oh, we're looking just there. So like I said, you can see just by changing one number, everything else follows. Um, instead of messing around, having like five different size stretchy platforms, I've just got the one. And like I've said, you can uh, you can actually change this variable as well. The uh, the interpolate variable you can actually change that as well. So if you don't want it sort of if you don't want it going fast because obviously the bigger it is, um, the faster it's going to stretch because I've got it set up to one second here, it'll stretch to 900. But you can actually have this as a global variable, and you can do something like if width is bigger than 400, duration equals two seconds, and that will slow it down. Um, and you can just have a rule there that actually changes the interpolate duration so it's, it's pretty flexible you can actually set it up to how you like but um, anyway that's my tip for creating a uh, stretchy platform and uh, I'll speak to you soon